Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to get out our Makey Makey kits and build a switch. Let's go have some fun. Other than a computer, you're going to need a piece of cardboard, your Makey Makey kit, two paper clips, four brass fasteners, Something pointy to poke holes in the cardboard. I used a nail file. Some aluminum foil. And some craft glue or any type of Elmer's glue will work. Our first step is cutting our piece of cardboard down to a smaller size that's easier to work with. I'm using a paper clip as a guide on how big the cardboard needs to be. Put a paper clip about a centimeter below the top of your cardboard and make a mark with a pen or pencil. Keep your paper clip there to mark the bottom of it with your pen or pencil. After that, scoot the paper clip over a couple inches and repeat those steps one more time. Now cut the cardboard about a centimeter around your pencil marks. That'll make it smaller and easier to work with. You're going to need to cut four strips of aluminum foil about this size to use as contact strips. If you haven't done this, feel free to pause the video now. Now I'll show you how to glue on your aluminum strips. The trick is to use just enough glue so that it doesn't ooze out the sides and make a big mess of things. You're going to make four small circles of glue on each side of the cardboard and then flip it over and try to match them up on the back side. After you get your glue circles on, take a piece of aluminum and wrap it over the top and try to press it firmly on both glue circles to get it to stick. Just repeat that step for the other three contact strips and you're done. It doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure that none of the foil is touching each other. That would create an electrical short and our makey makeys won't function properly. You may want to grab an adult to help you with this step. Place a paper clip over the contact strips like this. Carefully hold it down with one hand and poke through at the top of the paper clip. Be mindful of your finger on the other side though. You may want to ask an adult for help on this step. When you're finished, poke a hole at the bottom of the paper clip too. When you're done with the first switch, move the paper clip to the right and repeat the steps over again. We're going to want to make our paper clips look like this, with just a little bend at the end. Let's take a new paper clip and find the side that has the two little ends on it. It looks like this. We're going to try and make a little bend right there. You don't need to use much force to do it. Since we need two switches, we're going to do it again. Find the little ends, grab it there, and bend it. Good job. Uh, 
On this step, we're going to take our brass fasteners and push them through the bottom holes. Once you get them through, go to the back side and spread the legs apart so that it stays in place. Now we'll repeat that step on the other side. This step's a little bit tricky. We want to put our brass fastener through the top of the paper clip and then push it all together as a unit through the hole in the cardboard. Once through, spread the legs of the fastener to secure it. Your switch should be able to be pressed down now and the bottom of it should make contact with the brass fastener on the bottom. Repeat this step for the second switch. Both switches should be able to be pressed down and spring back up to reset. We're going to need four alligator clips for this step. Take your first alligator clip and clip it to the top left terminal of your switch. Then plug that into the up arrow on your Makey Makey. Clip your second clip to the right terminal on the second switch. Then plug that into the down arrow. Lastly, we're going to need to ground both switches so that our Makey Makey can function and work like we want it to. Once all your alligator clips are connected, it's time to plug your Makey Makey into your computer using the red USB cable. After that, we're going to click the link in the description below. It's going to take us to a fun little application that we can control with our brand new switches. If the link doesn't work, try typing in this URL in a web browser. Let's go have some fun with our new switches. Hopefully the link worked for you and your screen looks a bit like this. If not, pause the video and try copy pasting the URL in a web browser this time. When you're ready, you can enlarge your screen right here and click the green flag to begin. Use your left switch to make the ghost start moving. Awesome. Now try using the right switch to make the ghost stop moving. Great job. You can try exploring this website to find other applications to control with the switch you built. Some may need you to make more switches, so it's a good thing you know what you're doing now. So go have some fun. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.